In this video, I'll show you how to create a secure client area so your clients can access private files, documents, products, and even support and so much more, right? Here I've logged in to my client area. And then from here, we can search and filter by various different file types, which the admins allow access to this particular client, right? If you want as well, this can be a paid client area or you can create an account on their behalf and then just send them over that login detail, right? So from here, as I said, all these um, pages and files that we're viewing are private and protected. And if we try to go ahead and access any of these files um, outside of our account, it won't allow us, right? So for example, right here, we're getting this notice letting us know that we don't have access to view whatever is on this page, right? And we also showing this notice to let them know they can go ahead and buy either of these plans to be able to get access to it. If you didn't want this flow, what you could do is you could just show a 404 page instead, right? So we've got three different approaches in terms of how to deal with users that don't have access to your particular content. So one, we can hide the bulk of the content and show them that upgrade notice that they need to go ahead and purchase a plan to be able to access it. Two, we can redirect them to a different page. So for example, we could redirect them to the login page or we can just show them a 404 message. So the approach you choose is totally up to you. Under notes, we can leave private notes to this particular member only, right? And we're currently working on an update where we're able to upload files directly under this note section here. And the idea is we can upload certain documents and progress updates and the client can even reply back to that note, right? Currently there's nothing here, but in a future update, we'll be able to have that type of interaction. Another thing to mention as well, whilst we're here, we're currently revamping this particular section here. So depending on when you watch this, it might look completely different, right? And to achieve all this, we'll be using the AOV Up Memberships plugin. So just head over to aovup.com, go ahead and download the AOV Up Memberships plugin. I'll leave a link in the description below. And with that being said, let's head over to our dashboard. Assuming you've already downloaded and installed the AOV Up Memberships plugin, the first step is to go ahead and create our memberships plans, right? So the plans will determine who gets access to what section or content on our website, right? So we'll just head over to AOV Up and then we'll navigate over to memberships. Right, we'll navigate over to plans and here we can just create a plan, right? So we can say um, standard, standard package. We can name this whatever we want, right? And then essentially we want to choose how we want to give clients access to this membership plan. So as I said, we can manually enroll them into this plan. We can automatically enroll them whenever they sign up to our website. So this is typically reserved for when you've got some kind of free plan, right? Some free tier. Um, product purchase, if you want to offer a subscription or anything of that nature, then would use product purchase. So for example, we could say, let's imagine this client portal was for VIP support. And maybe we can say if they pay us $500 a year, then they'll get access to this VIP um, support package, right? Or well, standard support package. And essentially we'll just create a product. So we can just click add new, go ahead and create our subscription product. I'm assuming if you want to go for the subscription product as well, you need to go for the all access plan when you download the AOV Up memberships plugin, and that will give you access to creating memberships. That will give you access to creating membership style um, plans, right? For this example, I'm just going to say manually assign, right? The membership length, We'll just set this to unlimited. You can set it to a fixed date if you want. And then here we can start to choose which pages they'll get access to, right? So maybe we've got a projects page, so we could select the type as pages. And then maybe we've got a projects page. So I don't have this on this website. And then you'll just go ahead and select whatever content you want clients within this membership plan to get access to. So you just go ahead and add all the different um, content all sections on your site that you want clients to get access to. You don't have to add all of them in this particular moment here, right? So as we're uploading and adding new content to our site, you'll get a new option that allows you to choose who gets access to that particular content, right? We can offer the discount here. You can choose what sections are included in the client area. So we're currently working on a feature that will give you the ability to add custom links to their dashboard, right? That's 75% ready. So 
not long after we post this video, that feature should be ready. Essentially, we can choose from a content. So this is the exclusive um, content that they've got access to discounts, notes and manage so they can manage their membership. Right. If they've got some kind of subscription with yourself, they'll be able to manage it there. And if we didn't need any of these um, menu items, we can just go ahead and remove it just like that. Right. OK, so once we are happy with everything, we can just hit publish and that's it. So now we'll have a look at how we'd actually enroll someone into this standard package here. So we'll navigate over to members and then we can just click add new member and then we can search for our member here. Right. Or we can create a new member. Um, OK, so since I'm logged in as admin, so I'm going to click on my profile, which is this one. And I'm just going to go ahead and add that standard package to my membership. Right. So here where it says plans, we'll just select that standard package, which we've just created. The status is set to active, so that's fine. So we'll just hit save. So another thing to note is that when we click on a member here in the back end, we've got the option to add notes, right? So as I mentioned in the intro, we will have the ability to add different files to um, the note as well. We can also notify the client when we've added a note, right? So we can just click add note here. We can add multiple notes. So this is a great way to keep your client up to date and whatever project it is you're working on, right? So we can even leave a link here and just say, like we've just finished creating um, the thank you page on your website. You, you can go ahead and visit it here and they'll have the option as well in the future to reply directly to that note. So. As I said, let's go ahead and check this out and see what the notes like. So let's navigate over to our dashboard. OK, and I'm going to navigate over to memberships and I'm going to go ahead and select this standard package here. Right. So here you can see we've got access to this course. We can view the course when we click on notes. We can see this particular note here left by the admin. As I said, we're going to upgrade this experience so your client can even reply back to that note as well. And they'll have the option to upload custom files. So, for example, you might say we need X, Y, Z files. Just log into your secure portal and go ahead and upload that file. And then they'll be able to do it directly from here. So that's an exciting feature that I'm personally looking forward to. So I'll just quickly show you what it's like to go ahead and actually protect a page. So let's add a new page here. Let's just say a new page. It's the same for products as well. As I said, it works with any post type. So let's say. Right. And if we scroll down, we'll see this memberships option here. Then we can click add new rule. And then here we can choose which membership will get access to this particular page. Right. We can even hide a certain parts of the page and we can drip deliver this page to our client as well. So we can add multiple different rules. I'm going to go ahead and delete this one and let's hit publish. Right. And then in our account area here, when we go to content, we should be able to see that new piece of content that we've created. OK, and we can view this page just fine. Again, if we try to view this page as someone that's not authorized to view this page, then won't be able to view. All right. So that's protected. And this is only accessible to members with our standard package. And um, one thing to note before we close off this video, let's head back over to our dashboard and let's navigate over to AOVUP memberships and then settings. Here we get to choose a restriction mode, right? So currently we're just hiding the content only. In this case, it makes sense to just hide it entirely, right? Or we can even redirect them to the login page, right? And then we can specify that the login page is here, or you can just hide it completely list of the page doesn't exist until they've actually logged in and proved that they've got authorization to access whatever it is they're trying to access. Right. So I'm just going to hit save. We can customize the restriction um, messages as well, but I'll leave a link on screen and in the description below to a playlist, which goes into more detail in terms of how to set up this particular plugin.